Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. We are going to start usage based pricing, which is uh, quite similar as that uh, we discussed in the multidimensional pricing. So let's talk about now the next lesson, which is usage based pricing. So let's see for some uh, theoretical points about the usage based product. So till now we have seen a normal parent product or uh, a normal bundle product, how we can configure a bundle product. What are the things we need to take care in the bundle product? Then we have seen a subscription product like uh, Amazon subscription, if you want Netflix or the multi-dimensional quoting, if you want. So we have seen a subscription product as well. Now, what is usage based product? Example of usage based product is like you want to have a you want to have a cell phone with a postpaid plan or an internet plan bill based on your usage. Whatever you are using it, like say you are using a 1 GB data, 10 GB data, 100 minute talk time, 2000 minute talk time. Based on that, the user, the customer needs to pay. Okay, that product is known as a usage based product how much you are using that particular product, you need to only pay for that particular amount. Postpaid plan we have seen, that's known as a usage-based product. So quote and price product based on predefined rate for future consumption of a product or a service is known as a usage-based products. Okay, you can configure the units of usage and set up a different pricing rate based on the usage volume. Let's see how we can create it so that you can have a more understanding. So what you need to do, you need to create a product in a similar way we created our other products. There's only one difference. Let me open my some existing product which I already created for the demo purpose. Smartphone. Called standard, yeah. A smartphone, the standard plan. This is my product. So I just make this product as active, assigned to my product family service. Product code is nothing but just a normal product code which I have given. Again, this is my kind of a subscription product. So I have given a subscription type as renewable. Subscription pricing is a fixed price. Subscription term I have given a one month only. Okay. Now go to the related list. First thing you need to do to make this product visible, that's a price book, which you need to decide. Then price dimension, we have seen while creating a multi-dimensional coating. So we are not going to use this now. There is another related list available here that is known as a consumption schedule. Product consumption schedule. The name itself saying consumption schedule. Whatever the user is consum consumption, that price is going to charge to our customer. Okay, so you need to create a consumption schedule. Either you can go to the app launcher. You can from the app launcher also, you can go and click on the consumption schedules and create a new one. Okay, let's let me open the existing which I already have. Let me edit on the edit button. So I have given a name data. Okay, this is my first consumption schedule. I've given a name data. I make it as active. Now you have a field called unit of measure. So you have a different fields available here, minutes, messages, or MB. If you want any your custom field, that also can be created. But for now, I'm using a data. So that's a MB I have created. If you want data in the form of a GB, you just need to go to the unit of measure in the consumption schedule object and create a GB as well. Okay, so that's that data is going to charge in the form of a GB. I created an MB. Now there is a rating method which you need to select as a TO. There is a type, range and the slab type. <clears throat> so for now, just see that these two types are available. 
we'll talk in detail about these two types when we are going to discuss the discounting schedules okay so range having a different calculation method and slab is having a different calculation method which we will discuss it later okay so for now you can select any one of them it not making any kind of a impact it just a few difference in a price like 10 dollar difference in a price nothing else so i'll select a slab for now now there is a category which is only the rates one so you can decide the category it's to be a rate billing term unit you want a monthly quarterly or yearly that you can select now billing term is nothing but the subscription term now this billing term and billing term unit will only be used if you are having a cpq billing as well so currently we have only a package of uh, salesforce cpq if you want the salesforce cpq salesforce billing as well then these two fields are going to create an impact okay so just hit on save button now my consumption schedule is created with data unit of measure is mb now we need to define some price also okay when this is going to charge so go to the related list in the consumption schedule this is the one object called a consumption rates now in this rate you need to define the price of the data okay so my first rate you can see here this is a simple data which you need to fill processing order this is the order number so this is my first so i have given a one lower bond when it is going to start it is in the form of a mb only the unit of measure which you have given so 0 mb to 1000 1001 mb okay till here the upper bound is this it's going to charge a price of 20 dollar whenever the mb is between 0 to 1001 then it is going to charge a price of 20 okay pricing method is a flat 3 i am not selecting a per unit price it's a flat 3 okay let's hit on cancel uh, sorry you can save it and go back to the other let me open in the another tab create a one more consumption rate if a data is more than 1101 okay so you can see this is the another consumption rate i created processing order 2 lower bound now it will be 1001 when whatever your upper bound in the first processing order my upper bound in the first processing order is 1001 1001 okay this is my upper bound now this is the same should be my lower bound otherwise it will not allow you to save it let's say if you are giving a 2 here okay 1002 and you will hit on save it will throw a error that review the fields lower bond so lower bond cannot have a gap than the upper bond which you have given in the first processing order there should be no gap between the upper bond to the next lower bond so it should be one only now it's not compulsory to give a upper bond in the first processing order also it was not compulsory but we have given to create a two different rates now in the second one i am not giving any upper bond it's not mandatory means whatever the data more than 1001 it's going to charge a price of 0.05 dollar okay or you can give a 5 dollar 0.5 dollar okay and hit on save so my two consumption schedules this one consumption schedule i created data in which i decided a two rates from 0 to 1001 the price will be 20 dollar from 1000 to whatever the upper bond is will charge for the for 50 dollar 0.50 dollar okay now in the product consumption schedule you just need to assign on which product you want to make it work so uh, as i am going to work for the smartphone just search for the smartphone product here or if you want to make it for other products like you have sme license on that you want to work this uh, usage based then you can select a sme license from here whatever the product you are selecting on that 
product only, this particular consumption schedule will work. Either you can assign a consumption schedule from product also, from there, from this is my Amazon subscription product. From here also, you can assign a product consumption schedule. And if you want to go to the app launcher and create from there, that also you can do it. Okay, now let's see how it is actually working. Add a product. I'm not deleting my other products. I'll just show you the difference. So that is smartphone. What was the name? Sorry, I missed the name. Smartphone standard plan. This is my product. I'll select this. Okay, I'll hide my other products. Let me delete this. Okay. Now this is the second line item. Smartphone standard is my usage based product. Now, how you can figure it out that it's a usage-based product? You will have a different sign here, okay? The net unit price, the net list unit price of this product is $30, which is going to charge to the customer, but it's going to charge according to the consumption schedules. So if you click on this button here, you will see the consumption schedule which you have set in the consumption schedules rate. So as soon as you hit on that, you will navigate to the altogether a different page, which shows a consumption schedule here, the data one which you created, okay? Lower bond is zero, upper bond is 1001 with a $20 price. Data, another tier which you created from 1001 to there is no low upper bond with a 0 0.50 price. Similarly, I create for the talk and text also, okay? So talk time if, now let me show you first. Go back to your consumption schedule again. Process is again the same, steps are same. It's just you need to give the different unit of measure. So if you can see here, that unit of measure which I have given here, Consumption schedule name is talk. I have given a unit of measure in the form of a minutes. Okay. Rest all the fields are same. Rating method is tier. Type is slab. And category is rate. Okay. Then I again went to the related list of consumption schedules. I given a rate from 0 to 300. 1. If the price will be 10. And if it is more than 300 minutes. 301 minutes. Then it is going to charge a price of. $5. Okay. Again, I assign to the smartphone standard plan. Same I created for my text also. So you can see the text one. Unit of measure I have given here the messages. Okay. Because it's a message form measure of unit. So I have given a message here. Rest all the fields are same again. Going to the related list, I have created a two consumption rates here from 0 to 101 messages. Price is 0. Okay, I am giving free of cost if the, if the message is till 101. But if the messages is more than 101, then price is going to charge us $0.10. Okay. You can see there is no gap between the upper bond to the lower bond of the next rate. You should make sure while assigning a different rates, okay? There should be no gap between the upper and the lower bond of the second rates. Otherwise, it will not allow you to save. Now again, it's the same step. I assign the smartphone standard plan to my product consumption schedule so that it should work for the smartphone standard plan product. Okay? So as soon as you hit on that button, it will show you the consumption schedule. And the user can see, okay, these are the consumption schedules. Back to the code. You need to click on back to the code because this, while clicking on that, uh, this button, view consumption schedule, it will navigate you to different page altogether. Okay. 
whereas if you want this is uh, the first line you can see let me add one more product here to show you the complete difference the amazon one Now you can see all the three products here. Okay. So first, high speed is my multi-dimensional coating product, which is coming as a yearly. And here is a button called desegmented or segmented. It will be on the same page only. But if you want to desegment it, you can. If you want to resegment it again, you can. Second product is available, which is a standard product, is a usage-based product, smartphone. How we can figure it out that this is a usage-based product? There is a one uh, button available here, View Consumption Schedule. As soon as you click on this View Consumption Schedule, you will be navigating on the new page, which shows that, okay, these are the consumption rate. It, it will actually charge according to the R consumption rate. So back to the quote. Second is by consumption rate. And the third, the Amazon, it's a normal subscription product which is going to charge whatever the subscription term we have decided over the product. So for now, it's a 12 months. So 12 months price is $50. If we are going to make it a change, we just need to override it by giving subscription term on the quote information page. Hit on calculate. You'll see the price is getting change here. It's $100. The price of a smartphone also get changed. Usage based price also get changed. The price of high speed internet also getting changed. No, the high speed price is not getting changed because it's a right now it's a custom. So it will only get changed when you change something in the custom segment. If it is not segment, if it is normally a year wise, monthly, or the quarterly wise, then it will get impact with the subscription term. But as of now, it's a custom one, so it get not affected with this subscription term, which is available on the code information page. Okay, so this ends here the usage based product. It's a very simple product. It's just it's a postpaid kind of a thing. According to the usage, we can charge to our customer will be known as a usage based product whereas a multi dimensioning as per the different segments we can charge to our customers or we are allowed to change the quantity discount that is a multi dimensioning product and the normal subscription product it's a it's a subscription product which we can charge to our customer based on the term which we are deciding over the product okay any questions in the usage based pricing? No. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.